Hey guys, with the sophisticated large language models like Cloud3, uh, the advanced RAG has been possible and uh, here is a simple uh, workflow of advanced RAG where uh, you can see the documents get split into uh, bigger chunks, smaller chunks depending on your use case. And here you, we can actually use a AI framework like Llama Index. Uh, and then um, uh, these chunks get converted into embeddings which, which get stored in a, in, a, in a vector database like a single store. Uh, this is about the storage and when the user query comes in, even the query gets converted into an embedding uh, to an embedding model. Uh, and then it goes through uh, vector database like single store uh, as you can see here uh, to find the most relevant uh, relevant chunk and context uh, uh, information uh, through various methods like semantic search vector search and all that uh, so now you got the surrounding context and uh, the relevant chunk again all these things all this uh, context goes through an llm like cloud3 uh, the multi-model model, model um, to generate the answer back to the user. So yeah, um, this multi-model uh, rack basically uses a combination of uh, different data types uh, to generate a response uh, back to the user user query. All right. So it builds on the foundation of uh, standard rack by integrating data modalities uh, beyond just text. Right. It can be image, audio, video, etc. And uh, uh, this has been possible uh, with the rise of uh, multi-model uh, multi-model LLMs like uh, like Cloud3, as you can see in this uh, example. So uh, this is basically my setup. I have uh, written a complete article and a tutorial on this. So uh, I'm giving the link in the in the description or in the comments. You can go through the go through the complete notebook code and uh, try it yourself and uh, yeah see how uh, multi-model rag uh, basically works thanks